Hi Taurus, this is your July 22nd through the 28th weekly tarot reading will have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love entering your life. Uh, in the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three is love from the past. In the fourth spread we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and uh, we'll wrap things up in the fifth spread with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. Uh, we have the seven of wands clarified by the two of cups. We have the nine of cups clarified by the ace of pentacles. We have the knight of pentacles. In the potential outcome we have uh, the empress with the chariot and the ace of cups. And we also have the six of wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Libra, perhaps a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, uh, Cancer in particular, but uh, could be any water sign or any <laughs> any zodiac sign for that matter. You will know who this person is, Taurus, if this is somebody who is going to be very, very determined, very determined to win you over. Uh, perhaps you've never seen anything like this. So it's going to be quite a spectacle, quite a show, in a good way. Um, some of you could be dealing with two people and uh, there's going to be a loser and there's going to be a winner. Okay? Or if, say, you meet this person at some kind of an event and you've got people surrounding you, talking to you, and uh, one of the people will stand out and you will definitely know that this person is the one you're going to be getting to know. <laughs> getting to know more than other people. Let me explain. We start with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands. The first, that was the very first card that came out and on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right we have the Six of Wands. Alright? And so the Seven of Wands in this case, this person coming in and uh, perhaps, like I said, if you got other people interested in you, they will fight them off. Because the Seven of Wands is a card of a defense, but it's a card of an active defense. So somebody in the Seven of Wands, and by somebody I mean this person, defending, actively defending the idea that the two of you should be together. Like I said, so they could be fighting off the competition, they could be proving themselves to you. Right? With that seven of ones, they're going to be very determined. This person is not going to be passive. This person is going to be very, very active. Right? And uh, I think it will resonate with you. I think it will. The six of ones on the bottom of the deck is a card of victory and success. By the way, it's one of the two victory and success cards um, on the table. But we'll, we'll get to the second one in, in just a second. Right? So the six of ones is a card of attention. Right? So you definitely have this person's full and undivided attention. And uh, like I said, for the tenth time, perhaps, if you got other people interested in you, they will become irrelevant. Because this particular person will definitely uh, capture your heart. <laughs> Speaking of capturing your heart, uh, that seven of ones in the in the beginning is clarified by the two of cups, which is a soulmate card, and as you can probably see, we have two people in the two of cups, and I assume that's you and this person. And uh, the two of cups is when two people are on the same page, feeling the same way, and uh, it is a card of unconditional love. After that, we have the nine of cups clarified by the ace of pentacles, and the ace of pentacles is very similar to the knight of pentacles. The actual card that showed up, not as a clarifier. The ace of pentacles is a clarifier, but the knight of pentacles is uh, a card that actually showed up. The nine of cups could be some kind of an event. In some tarot decks, in the nine of cups, people are standing around and celebrating. It's also a card of a wish come true. It's a card of a satisfaction. And I think you're going to like the fact that this person is a fighter. This person proves themselves. This person is not one of those people who say, Oh, let's just play it by ear and see what happens. No. This person takes action. Right? And not only do they take action, they make very serious offer to you. They're about to make that very serious offer. Hence the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. They're kind of similar, right? You see how the Knight of Pentacles is holding up a pentacle? That's exactly the pentacle we're looking at in the Ace of Pentacles. It's like in the Ace of Pentacles we're zooming in on that pentacle. Both cards c represent very serious long-term oriented offers. All right. The Knight of Pentacles is the most serious knight out of all four knights. The most long-term knight out of all four knights in the Ace of Pentacles uh, you can say the same thing about the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is one of the two Aces, by the way. And uh, this Ace often comes through as a proposal. I don't think they're going to be proposing to you this week, but uh, that's their notion. That's their intention. 
All right. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to, for something serious. Speaking of serious, in the potential outcome, we have the Empress, uh, the Chariot, and the Ace of Cups. The Empress, that's you. Taurus, it's actually one of your major arcana cards. You share it with uh, Libra, but since this is your reading, that's you. And at the same time, the Empress is somebody who is loved, cherished, being somebody who is being put upon a pedestal. The Empress often comes through as a future wife or a future spouse figure. The Empress does not require an introduction. Everybody knows who the Empress is. So this person will basically adore you. The Chariot in the middle is that second victory card. Similar to the six on ones, the chariot is a card. You could be dealing with a cancer. The chariot could be a cancer. You know, but the chariot is a card of moving forward, right? Maybe moving in together, and it's a card of moving forward and not looking back. The ace of cups right next to the deck uh, is that second ace, and that's what it's all about. That's what this whole commotion is about: <laughs> love, true, genuine, authentic love. All right, Taurus. Um, so you got a fighter coming your way, and they're going to fight for you. They're going to prove themselves to you. You're going to be in the center of attention, and I think they will love and cherish you for the rest of their life. Really happy for you, Taurus. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Taurus, this part is for you. We have the Knight of Cups. We have uh, the Hierophant, uh, the Two of Cups, and Temperance on the bottom of the deck. You know, such a contrast. Compared to the first spread. I don't know if you just watched the first spread, the new love spread. That spread was awesome. It was amazing. But it was very dynamic. Right? Very dynamic. The person coming into your life, uh, into a single Taurus's life, is going to be very determined. Right? It's a, it's a very energetic, very dynamic uh, reading that we just had for the single Taurus. This spread right here is... As calm and as relaxed, as loving as it gets. All right, <laughs> I'm not. Both spreads are awesome, right? But such a difference. This spread is all about being super gentle. This spread is all about being super loving and caring, right? With that Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, and Temperance. It's like, yeah, this person is. I don't know for whatever reason they're trying to be gentle, and do expect a very loving gesture with that Knight of Cups. It's the most loving and caring night out of all four nights. Alright, so maybe you have an anniversary coming up, maybe you have another reason, or perhaps you don't need a reason you know, for this Knight of Cups. But the, yeah, expect a very lovey dovey gesture. The Hierophant in the middle, that's you, uh, Taurus, that's your major arcana card. The Two of Cups right next to the deck is a soulmate card, and uh, this is when P2 people or on the same page, right? Temperance on the bottom of the deck could be a Sagittarius, you know, but Temperance, first of all, it's a card of healing. Maybe they owe you an apology and that's why they're trying to be so lovey-dovey. <laughs> but at the same time, Temperance is a card... Nobody is ever in a hurry with Temperance cards. Temperance is a card of balance, right? So it's like with the Temperance card, it could be like a very relaxing atmosphere that they're creating. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below, why are they doing it? Or there is no reason. Maybe they're always like this. <laughs> Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Taurus. This week, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have the Two of Wands, the Four of Swords, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. And uh, we also have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any Zodiac sign. Um, what I noticed about this uh, spread right away is that, the, first of all, there is no major arcana cards. Zero. These are all minor arcana cards. And uh, the, another thing I noticed is that there is no court cards. <laughs> and as you can see, I clarified two of the three cards, hoping to see a court card, but uh, no. We got what we got. So anyway, you got somebody coming back, definitely, with the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Right, and perhaps this person is traveling, or they want you to go to some kind of on some kind of a trip with them, because the six of swords and the eight of wands definitely somebody is traveling, or some kind of a trip is a part of this uh, situation, right? And uh, they could just be like, "Hey, I'm back, I'm back in town," or "Hey, I'm gonna be in your neighborhood," or "Hey, do you want to go on a trip together?" or or something among those lines. You, I. I think the remaining cards are all you. That's why I didn't clarify the two ones, because I, I think that's you. And at, at this point, I also believe the Four of Swords clarified by the Two of Pentacles, that's also you. So what you're going to do, you're going to put this person on hold. 
on hold. You're going to try to understand if this is something you want to do, if uh, this is something you need, if you want to go back to this person or re-engage re with this person, entertain it again. I don't see you jumping on this opportunity. Quite the opposite, like I said, I see you taking a bit of a break to wrap your head around this. Right? With the two of ones, the two of pentacles and the four of swords. Yeah, you're, you're just going to take your time. Take your time. Right? So, yeah, take your time and uh, make a decision and let, let them know what you want to do about this. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances uh, towards this week. We have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Moon, <clears throat> and the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You know what it looks like? It looks like somebody is secretly doing some kind of a research. Somebody is secretly looking at jobs, secretly looking at products, <laughs> um, or I don't know if this is, if if you're the one who is doing it, maybe you're doing some kind of a research, um, work-related research, or you're looking for jobs. You're looking for a job, a new job, or you're looking for maybe another business partner to replace an existing, or or you're looking for a new vendor, a new supplier, uh, or someone. Right? Uh, there's definitely an element of looking at different options with that Seven of Cups, the first card that came out, right? As you can see, there is a person, there's a silhouette of a person in the Seven of Cups, and they're looking at different cups, options, looking online, looking at, at, on, the, at the, on their screen, right? The Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck could be a card of a choice, all right? It's also a card of generosity, by the way. For some of you, maybe you're looking to where you want to donate. <laughs> yeah, that happens too. People do that. Uh, the Page of Swords is a card of a stalker, but it's also a card of research. Research. All right. Then the Moon right next to the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces. The Moon is a Pisces major arcana card, but at the same time, the Moon is a card of a secret or a card of a fear. It's a it's a bit of an emotional card. Right, so yeah, there's definitely some kind of a research, or somebody is looking. Somebody is looking at options, comparing, contrasting, and all that stuff. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting uh, to happen this week, Taurus. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Six of, six of Cups, the Ace of Wands, um, the Queen of Wands, and uh, the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What you're not expecting is um, communication <laughs> and an invitation or maybe an apology from this Queen of Wands. If this Queen of Wands is a Leo, you could be invited to their birthday party because we're starting Leo birthday season this week and the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck could be a card of an invitation coming from this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands is definitely somebody you already know. This is somebody from your past. Um, in, in the beginning of the spread, we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of someone from the past. And uh, this person could be a love interest. They could be just somebody from your past. They could be a relative, somebody you worked with, somebody you went to school with. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the Nine of Cups that the Six of Cups is clarifying could be a card of an event. It's also a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. Right? And it's also part of a wish come true. The Ace of Wands uh, in the middle, I believe that Ace of Wands comes from that Queen of Wands. You see how that Queen of Wands is holding up a wand. And I think that's exactly the one we're looking at in the Ace of Wands. So this person is either getting super excited about seeing you or talking to you or spending time with you or I don't know <laughs> what else they could be getting excited about but uh, the Ace of Wands, yeah, the, I think that comes from them it's definitely their initiative, they definitely want to uh, if you haven't seen this person in a while, maybe they just want to reconnect with you and uh, for some of you, if perhaps you worked with this person in the past, they want to offer you a job or they want to do business with you. Um, they're, look they're looking forward to seeing you. That's what I'm trying to say. They're looking forward to seeing you and perhaps for that day, so once they've got something to offer you. All right. And uh, the thing about the Six of Cups, we're usually glad to see people with that Six of Cups coming back from the past. All right, Taurus, uh, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this uh, week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Taurus, have an amazing week.